uh, welcome to my channel space remote sensing and gis so today uh, we will come with a very interesting lecture so that is over uh, how we extract extract the river stream order inside arcgis pro okay so from the basin extractions to the drainage pattern extractions everything we will going to cover now in this particular exercise okay so let's see how we're going to do that now uh, i'll go to my arcgis pro and see in arcgis pro i have my digital elevation model the very first thing is if you want you can extract a certain um, uh, area okay that is the basin area so how we're going to calculate the basin so simply come to arcgis pro toolbox okay under the toolbox you have uh, the spatial analysis so let's go to the spatial analysis tool and here we have the hydrological analysis tool okay so i will go to their hydrological analysis tool and now uh, our first steps which we will going to do that is that is over uh, that is over the basin uh, calculations uh, to 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 estimate the the basins first uh, steps you have to go with the field first you have to collect calculate the field corrections and here you just give to the field as a input okay so the, this is the field input you will get so just uh, run it so once you run see a uh, field is also required to calculate uh, the next the flow directions and uh, flow directions is also the important parameter for the both like for the flow accumulations as well as uh, the for the basin uh, so the for the basin is uh, calculation or uh, extractions you required the same uh, flow direction tool okay so after fill only we can go for the next steps that is the flow direction calculation so let's go to the flow direction calculations so here is the flow direction calculation so i just just simply go with uh, my field corrected day okay so that i am going to use for my further process so let's run it so this is my flow direction so now before going to for the accumulations so why not we will short out our uh, major basin area and uh, we will extract it and then go we will go for the further so to doing it uh, you need to come to the basin okay see here it's required the input of the flow direction so simply give uh, flow directions see this is as a input and simply run it now let's wait for the results see this uh, now this is the output and uh, this is the major basins which is come out here so what we need to do we, if we want to extract this the best way is you just simply convert this uh, raster to the vector okay so just go here and type raster polygon okay so simply take this one give this uh, basin as a input and simply click on run see here this is my major basin area so if i want to extract it okay i will simply select it right click it wherever i want to save my basins okay i can go to the export feature okay so you can give a certain name okay so just like uh, just give a name as a final or study area you can see Okay, so I will just take it as a study area, and then simply click on OK to extract this file. See now, uh, this is my study area which is now come out. Okay, so if you see here, this is come out. So if you want to remove this one, because this is not required now. Okay, so I will just simply click on this. Okay, so now uh, see whatever my uh, flow directions will be there. So that is required for my flow accumulation purpose. so we need to cut out this area so same thing if you want to cut out so uh, the very easy process is select this directions go to the imagery okay so uh, and this enter the imagery you have the raster functions click over the raster functions okay you can type here as a clip this will be basically your raster clipping okay so if you click over it give input your flow direction field area okay 
and uh, if you want to cut out with this boundary so select the study area as a geometry and if you want to click exactly with the uh, feature geometry means exactly with the boundary select that and that's all uh, you just need to click on the create so you see uh, you will get this uh, flow direction field accordingly okay so if you if i switch off this one so you will get uh, that much area okay so i will not changing this symbology so because this is required for my further uh, output which will be my uh, this one okay so this my accumulation so i will go to this directly and i will go to the process directly okay so that is toolbox under the so i will go to the flow accumulation so just select uh, the flow accumulation field okay so this is my flow direction okay so i will give it as an input okay and let's uh, run it to get the output so let's wait for the results Ah, recording chulche. so now uh, you will see this is my uh, the flow accumulation area is coming okay so if you want to stretch out you can stretch out to get a better informations okay so like certain divisions if i do so i will get better informations but uh, my objective is different okay so here uh, whatever the stretched value we have now we can go with the classified okay so i will click on the classified okay so we will send you some particular range okay but here the natural breaks techniques only we are going to apply so the classes i will just make it as a two okay so this is the two so what we'll do that is the upper value range where i will select it and i will just type 3000 so this is the value which will take over it here you see here now how nicely it is extracted so this is the range which we want okay so now we will go for the further process uh, to extract this so now you want to see the better understanding so you can make it as a no color okay and uh, this you can change it as a blue so you will get some idea about your uh, study area okay so one thing you can do that is uh, you can clip out to your uh, this area also like for the dim so this is required for your understanding over this so take this dim and the same process come to the imagery go to the raster function okay click on the clip okay input you can give your this dim and if you want to extract exactly with the boundary select the study area okay and then simply click on create a new feature so you will get your study area wise informations okay so that is the good advantage over here means uh, if i take it my this in over so i can able to see this okay and uh, if you want see we can do this total process in 3d also but uh, as i already started in 2d so i'm just going to show you 2d and after the final products i will going to upload in 3d so that you can get an idea about the 3d also or if you want to see uh, the final process in 3d so that also you can do okay in the view you can simply convert in 3d but anyway let's come to the results and then we will convert it so to exact the exact value from this raster because this raster value is there so we can go for one more process over here so we need to go to the raster calculator okay so we can go to the raster calculator and we can simply extract uh, this particular range okay so this is under your uh, map algebra okay so we have the raster calculator just go to the raster calculator and uh, your flow accumulation clip is this one so just double click on that and give the greater value okay and uh, the range you can give 3000 so above that only we need to extract so simply click on run so let's wait for the result so see here whatever it is coming so if you want to change the symbology just click over that and you see come here so just make this as a no color and uh, this one you can change it as a blue 
so it will exactly match with this law function so now this is the final file okay so if you go and see this so this is the final file of uh, your this uh, raster string okay so now what we need to do is uh, we need to convert it uh, in a vector or in a stream order we have to uh, separate it out okay now we have the accumulated area so now we will going to convert it as a stream order so, so let's see the stream order process so i will go back to this and uh, under the stream order i will click so input stream raster which is your final stream which you just extracted so click on that okay and your flow direction which will be your clip flow direction field so that you need to give as an input so that is this one clip flow direction field so that will be my input okay so this uh, trailer is the most uh, useful method for uh, this particular analysis okay so if you want to see uh, you can find the trailer is the best process uh, on that there's a two processes actually there here one is a trailer and is a saver so if you see most of the time we used to go with the trailer it's the most commonly used this process okay uh, commonly used method for the stream order let's let's start uh, the process and let's see the results so now you see the stream uh, order raster has been created. Now you can start seeing here the small uh, tributaries also and the large stream as well as the different color. Okay, so all these th things are showing in a different color. Okay, large tributaries and all these things are shown. So if you switch off this, so this is your final file. Now uh, see this is a stream order, is a raster stream. So what you need to do, you need to convert it as a, a stream to feature. So you have a very good uh, tool directly we have for that. So we have this stream to feature, okay. So we need to convert it from uh, this raster stream to the feature stream, okay. Let's see how to do that. So for this, uh, I will going to give input my the final stream raster, as well as I need to give input the flow directions also, okay. So simply I will go here and i will select uh, flow direction so clip flow direction field so that is my output so clip flow direction field okay so you should be very careful during giving the outputs okay otherwise you may got a wrong results okay anyway this is the final file and then i simply click on uh, run okay so let's wait for the results and see now this is the results which came as a stream order so what you need to do you need to reclassify it okay how to do the reclassification so simply select it go to the feature layer okay sorry select it go to the feature layer click on the symbology under the symbology okay so you need to go with the unique value okay so let's go for that so i will just simply drop down and click on this unique value so what we need to change it that is this field so i need to change it to the grid code okay so according to the grid code and see all the river will classify it separately so now you just uh, need to give a proper um, scale to change this so you can give this one or if you want to change any any kind of color patterns which you feel good so you can go for it okay so uh, suppose i will check with this okay fine or if you want to do any other so that also you can go anyway so what we need to do is here we can change uh, the size so that we can identify that in a better way. So I will go in a property. Okay, so suppose the first one I can give it. Okay, I can go with uh, 10 also. Okay, then next one uh, we can go to the uh, next one we can yes we can change it as a 10 you see this is the major one okay which will be the 10 so what you can do you know uh, you can uh, go for the next one that will be i will make it as a suppose eight just to understand okay for you in a better way so you can go with the better symbology it will take me okay so see here this is a five then four it will be Uh, 
apply it now go back okay and go for this one three which will be four okay so click on apply and make it as two back and one will be fine as well so now this is a final so if you want to make it as a 3d you can do that obviously so before that i can uh, change this clip them so that it will look better okay, so this i can make them and uh, if i want to change it in 3d so go to the view click on the convert okay and from this you can make it as a local scene simply click on the local scene so let's see let's wait for the conversions in 3d 3d so you just need to drag and drop in the down and you see how nicely your study area uh, that maps over all the major rivers okay so it's coming perfectly so only thing is i can change this color to blue because the major river so it will match better better way which i think yeah yes yeah okay so that's what uh, is the way you can do the stream ordering okay inside arcgis pro see this full analysis what i showed you that is you can do in the 3d also that is the extra advantage you will get over here in 3d means uh, because i showed in this uh, 2d because most of the people you are actually familiar with the 2d so that's why otherwise you can definitely work in the total process the whatever process i showed you now so you can generate it in the 2d also okay so that's all from my side so if you want see if you want to change the base maps here also you can change okay so that will be make you more more better and looks good okay so and then 3d base maps also there for the city areas okay so you can use that also anyway uh, that's all from my side okay so i hope you like this video please share this video with the other so uh, and we i already showed you using the model builder how we're going to extract this drainage pattern so check in my old videos so it will be there so people who are working for the hydrological tools and uh, extracting the drainage pattern according to the stream model so how we're going to do that so this is the full video for them so i hope you like my video please uh, uh, subscribe my channel and give likes okay and uh, share this video with others and please uh, give your comments too okay so uh, that is the only request which i want that please subscribe okay thank you thank you very much which will give a, give me the motivation for you thank you